or they decide to turn the water on to see if they have water anywhere, well, these caps that he's put on, these shark bite caps, now blow apart and start leaking and flood the house. This is messed up. The biggest plumbing scam seen in Texas. This is what blows my mind. There's a master plumber, a plumbing company out there that is providing a service for people. And when you look and see what he did, it's going to make you sick. Yeah. Make sure you stay till the end and I'm going to show you how to make sure this never happens to you. If this is your first time here, or if you've been here before and you haven't done it yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. So first of all, what happens is a homeowner outside of San Antonio, Texas calls their warranty company. Now they've sent me the paperwork. So I see they have the, like the elite package. This is the high end home warranty package. Now, a couple of different things about this. First of all, I don't like home warranty companies. They're in business just to make money. You're better off just putting that money in a savings account every month. And then when you realize you need a service done, you just take the money out of that account. I truthfully think for most people in the long run, they'd come out better like that. And the reason I say that is I know how warranty companies are. They literally tell the plumber, the HVAC, the roofer, whoever, if you go out there and anything at all looks like it's been manipulated, changed or modified, we don't do this call. They will actually pay them more to do it that way than go out there and do the job right. So here's what happened. In San Antonio, a guy gets a notification from his smart meter telling him that he has a leak. So they notify this guy, he's got a water leak. And what he does, he calls his warranty company and they send a plumber out. Now he's not there when the plumber comes out, his father-in-law is. But his father-in-law says, hey look, do what you need to do, come in, this guy literally comes in, just does a cursory look around the yard, looks at the meter, walks in the house, and literally starts checking things by cutting holes in the wall looking for the leak. Now, look, I specialize in slab leaks and leak detection, so I'm gonna tell you more about this later. But guys, you can walk up and look at a sheetrock wall and tell if there's a leak. If you're a homeowner, if you're a plumber, it doesn't matter. You can look at the wall and see if there's water in it. That sheetrock is going to get wet. So what he does, he literally walks in, starts cutting open the walls where all the manifolds are or where he thinks they are. Some of these cuts are, look like they're eight or 10 feet long. Don't get me wrong. He kept it within a foot or two of the ground, but he goes through, he starts cutting all these openings in the wall, starts cutting lines apart and capping them off. And, as you can see from the video, well, he uses shark bite caps. <coughs> that will scare you to death right there. Anyway, just doing it for testing. So, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna complain a lot, but he goes through, cuts all these manifolds apart, caps them off, and then tells the homeowner or the father-in-law who's there watching the house for him, Hey, you have multiple slab leaks under your house. It's going to cost you eight to $10,000 to do a complete repipe. Well, number one, I'm a plumber and I'm telling you that's not near enough to do a complete repipe. I don't care how good he is. It's not enough. So here's the deal. They're waiting, trying to figure out what to do. Pretty much most of the plumbing is cut off to their house because he's cut it and capped it off turn the water off or they decide to turn the water on to see if they have water anywhere. Well, these caps that he's put on these shark bite caps now blow apart and start leaking and flood the house. If you're a plumber and you're going to do something, at least do it right. Guys, this is my deal about shark bite caps. They leak. We know they leak. At this point, this homeowner is frustrated. Now, let me tell you why. He just had a premature baby. So he is spending a lot of time at the hospital with his wife. That's why his father-in-law's at the house. That's beside the point, I get it, but just let me tell you where things are at. So he calls another plumbing company. This one actually nationwide, reputable name, American Leak Detection. They come out, spend about 15, 20 minutes capping off everything inside the right way, go outside and turn the meter back on, there's a leak in the valve box out in the yard, about three feet away from the edge of the house. This was the only leak. So number one, now look, I'm, not, I'm just gonna tell you this, 
If you ever need a second opinion on plumbing in San Antonio, you probably don't want to call this company. But I'm not sure I'd call them for a second opinion on plumbing for anything. But, you know, do what you want to do. Here's the deal. The other company came out, fixed everything, put everything back together. Things are good. But now the other plumber, the original plumber, will not answer his phone when this homeowner tries to call. He just wants his stuff fixed. He just needs his walls closed up so he can bring his family back in. So if you've looked through these pictures and you think something's wrong, do me a favor, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now, if you've looked through these pictures and you think it all looks good, tell me what kind of work you do for a living. Guys, here's the deal. There's some plumbers out there that will scam you, lie to you, and don't know what they're doing. Here's the funny thing. If you go through and read in his proposal, he says that to fix this properly, he needs to get another company out there because he does not have the right equipment. Well, then why did you start cutting the walls open to see what was wrong? To me, that makes no sense whatsoever. You don't have to start cutting walls open to find out if there's leaks in the house. The steps are, to be honest, first of all, you check the meter. Is the meter spinning? Next, you look for a valve box at the house because you want to see if you can isolate the yard service from the house service. Then you check it again. After you do that, if you've determined there is a leak, it's in the house side, not the yard side. Now you do this again, but you go isolate the water heaters. You turn off the water heaters. Oh, by the way, plumber number one that goes out there completely disconnects the water heater. You heard me, completely disconnects it. Doesn't cap it off, so I really don't know what he did, at least not that I can tell. But my thing is, why go in and disconnect a water heater, cut holes open in the wall, cap off a bunch of lines, and then lie to people and tell them they've still got a slab leak when you don't know what you're doing clearly. Now, I'm gonna tell you some things that you can do to help avoid this problem. First of all, step number one, check their reviews. Check their reviews. If they've only got 3.3 stars, call somebody else. Most companies should have 4.5 stars or better, okay? On a five-star system, that puts them at an A, a 90 or above. If they've got 4.7 stars or above, 4.75, now you're looking at a 95 or above. You're looking at the top 5%. But here's the question I want to ask you. When you get a plumber out working in your house, does it pass the BS test? You know, bull sewage. Does he look like he knows what he's doing? Have you ever heard of a plumber just coming in and start cutting open walls, looking around? Guys, there's a better way to do it. Now, let me ask you this. If you're a homeowner or if you're a trades professional, do you feel like what this guy did was professional? Doing it the way he did and then not answering the phone when the people called. This homeowner had to eventually call the warranty company back and get them involved, but we still don't know how it's going to turn out. This guy's saying, hey, I did everything I was supposed to do. I think it's a joke. What do you think? Now, to make sure this never happens to you, like I said a while ago, check their reviews. See how their reviews look. Ask them if you can contact customers that they've done this for before. Have you fixed a slab leak before? Have you found a slab leak before? Or did you just get lucky and trip and fall into a puddle of water and say, oh, that's where it is? Have you ever had a problem like this before? Have you had any trades professional come into your house and do something crazy like this? And y'all seen the pictures. What do you think? Would you freak out? If you had this done, would your wife freak out? This is kind of crazy. I want to know what you think. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.